Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Chalking with Bridget. I'm excited today. So, those of you watching the replay, this is going to be done live, live broadcast. Um, and I'll be, the, you're probably watching the recording right now. So this, um, today we're going to do another pillow. So I'm doing a lot of ink and pillows this week because I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, but yesterday we did um, one of our square pillows. So today we're going to do one of our lumbar pillows, which I've had this for a while. So I'm really excited to do it in this super cute transfer because we're going to start doing holiday stuff. I got holiday stuff out the wazoo, y'all. Um, but I wanted to do some regular around the house stuff before we get into all the holidays. Um, but this is the snuggle is real. How cute is that? So you can make your own pillow. We're going to do it with our ink. So give me just a minute. I'm going to make sure we're broadcasting everywhere we need to be. So make sure you guys say hello and pop on when you get here. And we're going to get started in just a sec. I'm excited. In the meantime, I'll let y'all look at the one from yesterday. I did a little fixing of it. This is the one that we did yesterday. I went back in and added a little more black to it. I think it looks pretty cool. So uh, it's still drying right now. Um, so it's super easy to do. Once it dries, I'm going to do the flip side of it. But um, I fixed it this morning because I wasn't really loving uh, when I did it yesterday. I had put more gold. I think it was right over. This was all gold yesterday. And it just looked, it didn't look right. So I laid the transfer back on top, busted out the black ink, and I fixed it real quick. And now I'm just letting it dry. Um, once it's dry, I'm going to flip it over into the other side, and then I will heat set it and stuff it. And I'll show you guys the finished one when it's done. Right now, I'm just making sure that we are everywhere. So please share, share, share. I love it when you guys share. It helps me tremendously. And then... Um, we're gonna get started in just a minute. This shouldn't take too long to do today. Um, I don't think it's gonna be too bad. I thought about doing something really cute, but I'm not sure. I get nervous with the creativity of it. All right, so let me share to a group. I wish there was a way to do this before I got started with it, but there's not. I just have to do it while I'm live. So, make sure you guys say hello when you pop on. Uh, my computer is going so slow today. There we go. Chalking with Bridget. And... Why is everything taking so long? So give me just a minute. Uh, we're gonna get ready to start our new our pillow for the day. I can see y'all popping on. So make sure you say hi. I'm still here. I'm just getting us ready to go. And this is like taking forever. We have like some really country internet. Okay, so it's like talking with Bridget. There we go. Post. All right, so if you guys share too, that'll help speed things up. Share to my personal timeline. Okay, finally. All right, we ready? <laughs> so, there it goes. Now it's finally working, but sometimes this takes forever. Let's see, let's go back. And then the magic happens. Everybody starts tuning in. Let's see. Almost done. Okay. 
Are you ready? <laughs> so let's get started. We're gonna have some more people pop on in a minute. It's like, there, look, I hit share and you guys magically start appearing out of the woodworks. I don't know why it takes so long. So you replay viewers, that's why I always tell you guys to like kinda fast forward, cause it takes a few minutes. I like to do it live, you guys know I need help. I can't be trusted alone down here by myself. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what I was thinking and you guys can like yay or nay. So, I don't know, I need some opinions on this. Okay, so we have this little guy right here. Isn't he cute? Now, I don't know. I need to fix it so you guys see it the right way. It won't let me. For some reason, it won't let me flip the camera today. Um, but this is our little swath. He's so cute. It says, no worries, no hurries. I thought it would be kind of cute to put the little guy maybe hanging from the corner of the pillow. So we're going to do the snuggle is real. Like, who doesn't want to snuggle with a swath? I mean, they're the cutest little suckers ever. So I was thinking we could put the snuggle is real in the middle and maybe we could do the sloth hanging from the corners of the pillow. I don't know. So you guys let me know what you think about that. Uh, we're still waiting for people to pop on because it, it takes forever. In the meantime, we're going to start prepping uh, while we're getting ready. So we learned <laughs> from yesterday because we almost made that mistake. We almost forgot our ink mat. So you want to make sure that you're using an ink mat. That's super important. There we go, more people are popping on. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you say hello when you're here. So I need to, that is the cover for the ink mat. So this fits perfectly into here. So we are going to get this all set up. Yesterday, <laughs> it's like almost forgot. <laughs> These fit, these are made to fit right into your pillowcases, which is super cool. I did not realize that. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. So we have our ink mat. So what that does is it protects it, right, from um, from going through to the other side. I, don't, I just think we should do a sloth. I kind of want to do the sloth. So let me know what you guys think about my sloth idea. But I think... Um, trying to figure out like where we would put him. So you have to use placement tape for this because he's going to hang down. Let's, let's do some cutting and some figuring as to where we're going to put all these little pieces. But who doesn't want to cuddle with the sloth? I've always wanted to. I think they're adorable little guys. All right. No worries, no hurries. I've been wanting to use this. This is current. This is from our current catalog. <laughs> All right. Our little sloth guy. He's so cute. How he, Look at the little face. Oh my God, he's so adorable. All right, so that might affect the color scheme that we're gonna use. I'm just gonna cut this little guy up real quick. I'm cutting my little sloth up. So I was down here busy this morning fixing my little Victorian skull that I did yesterday, which was really cool. I've got a bunch of stuff. I'm leaving tomorrow to go out of town for a business trip, so I'm not going to be live at all tomorrow. Um, Friday and Saturday I won't be live, and um, maybe Sunday if I get back in time. But I'm going to work on my business. I'm so excited. I love it. All right, so that's got to be... All right, so these have little numbers. See, it's got like a little two, and then we have like a little one. I'll show you guys up close. I love this because it tells you exactly where to put, where to put everything. Cause you, you gotta have it lined up. Like that's super important. So we're just cutting everything and prepping, waiting for everybody else to get here. Usually like five to 10 minutes in is when we really start getting people popping on but it is I don't know it's during the day it's early some of y'all might be at work 
But some of y'all watch me from work on your lunch break. I went live late last night. It was in the evening. Hey, Julian, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. We are just getting started with this. Uh, we're waiting on people to pop on. We're going to make a pillow today. And we're going to do the Snuggle is Real, which is going to be super cute. I'll show it to you real quick. So here's our Snuggle is Real, and we're going to do it on one of our Chalk Couture pillows. And I'm going to put a little sloth up in the corner because our little sloth guy is cute. So this is going to be a fun little project to do. Trying to do some fun stuff before we get into the holidays because you guys are going to be holidayed out with all the holiday stuff. Now look, here comes everybody. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So if you guys share the video today for me, if you share it on your timeline, do hashtag snuggle so I know that you shared it. And if I can get 50 shares, I'm going to do a drawing. That would be awesome. We're going to do... I'm just cutting up our little pieces and getting it ready. It's so quiet around here and I can't even really have any music going. My little sloth guy. He's so adorable. His little face. Okay, I don't think I'm... I'll, I'll put leaves on it later. I should probably cut them while I have the scissors though, huh? You end up with a lot of little pieces. Okay. And if you guys are watching the replay, you can click put hashtag replay and let me know that you're watching. All right, we're probably gonna get a lot of re replay viewers today. So, so we have to use this little thing. So let me show you guys something. See, if you look really closely, you see the little stars right here? This is for lining them up, right? So this is how you know you've got your stuff in the right place. See the little stars? So we wanna make sure that we're using those and we use um, what we call placement tape. I like to reuse my placement tape because it's not expensive, it's just me. Um, so we gotta figure out where we're gonna put this. I'm thinking like he would be cute. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Up here in the corner. Like have him hang. Cause he has to hang. Now how's that gonna work? Maybe it's this way. Yeah, so if you do it this way, then he hangs off of the tree. So that's how it goes. Okay. So we gotta put a little bit of tape down. I'm gonna cut a little piece of this off. This is my first time actually cutting the placement tape, so this will be interesting. Let me get that ready. All right. We could actually do a two of them. We could do one on each side. Let's see how, make sure we're going to have enough space. So if that goes there, we should have plenty of space. The snuggle is real. We'll go right across the center. I think we're going to have plenty of space. Mm-hmm. Cute. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're not going to fuzz. These are our, if you're seeing this for the first time, these are our transfers, our stencils. They're reusable. Um, they're super sticky, uh, but we're using it on an on porous, a porous surface, so we should be fine. We want to make sure that we got enough. Make sure you guys say hi when you pop on. I feel like y'all are just like watching me and not talking. <laughs> All right, so I am putting our little tree thing over here and I'm gonna put a piece of placement tape under here so I know exactly where I'm gonna mark it. 
so I'll be able to line those up later. It's kind of cool because there's these little things right here. Okay, there's our placement tape. We need to come down a little further with that. There. That way we, we're gonna make sure this is down nice and tight. Cause we don't want it, we wanna make sure that it's nice and sticky. That way we're gonna get the details on it. Now we do have an ink mat in here as well. If you guys didn't see me put that in. Um, there's an ink mat in here. It's gonna keep the ink from running through to the other side of our pillow. We have to figure out coloring, guys. Whew, this is going to be... I don't have as many ink colors as I do chalk colors. Um, so this is going to be fun. I hadn't really... Well, we have... What do we have? We have a gold shimmer. We could do black. Shimmer copper. I want them to be cute, though. Okay. I'm thinking... Maybe the trunk should be black. I'm trying to figure out what color we're gonna make our sloth though. I want him to be bright because I like bright colors. I'm thinking we could do some teal and green. We could do the kiwi. That would be pretty. This is why I need you guys help. All right, so let's do the branch black. I think that'll work. I don't necessarily want to use the copper. Or the branch could be current day. I don't know about that. Let's do black, okay? All right, so where's our black paste? All right, so I'm making sure it's good and tight. Make sure you guys say hi when you pop on. It's so quiet in here today. I feel like I'm by myself. <laughs> I'm just putting our black ink on with our squeegee and it's gonna absorb pretty quickly. The biggest thing is making sure that you don't get it off of the transfer because it is ink, <laughs> right? It's going to be permanent. When we're done, we're going to heat set it and it will be a forever pillow. So I'm making sure that I am covering up. Remember I put that placement tape down? So I'm gonna have markers when I go to put my sloth on there, which is gonna be kind of cool. So this is going on pretty easy. All right, super cute. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. And our placement tape, I didn't think that through, did I? The placement tape is coming up. <laughs> Boy, that didn't work out too well. Look, <laughs> my placement tape came right up. But you got a pretty little mark on there. All right, so if I can keep one of them down, I think we'll be good. Okay, there's the one. There we go. All right. So let's do this on the other side. Let's see. We wanna get it up close to the edge. I'm gonna set this down and clean my fingers off. Make sure you guys have wipes available because <laughs> it does make a mess. And I, it is quiet here today, guys. 
It's like, where is everybody? Normally there's like a ton of you on here. I guess we're hanging out alone. I don't even know who's watching right now, but it's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go over this side. And epic fail. <laughs> I put the, um, didn't put the placement tape down and I went with the ink right over it. Boy, this is a learning experience, huh? Sorry. It's another Bridget original. All right. You almost have to have placement tape for this one because if not, you would end up with marks like you're gonna see online. <clears throat> okay, ready? <laughs> well, we totally messed that up. Let me fix it. All right. There we go. So let's put that away. So if you don't have tape down, look what happens. See, oh, you can't even see it, guys. Wait. If you don't have the tape down, look what happens. See where your placement tape's supposed to go? You end up with a little black spot there. Oopsie. I wonder if we can get rid of that. I think we need to keep a Tide pen on handy. I'm thinking not. I think it's gonna be, I think we're gonna be stuck with it. That's all right. That's gonna make it worse. We're just gonna let it ride. It's gonna be just fine. Okay, so we gotta dry this. Let's put the lid back on our black for right now. Everybody is so quiet today. I see you guys popping on and then you pop back out and you pop back on. Nobody's saying anything. Say hi, let me know you're here. All right, we're gonna blow dry this because we have to do another layer. So I wanna make sure that this stuff is dry and I'm making a big old mess. This is a project today. It was supposed to be quick. <laughs> But I've been wanting to do this pillow for a while. All right. Then nothing fancy, it's just a good old blow dryer because we're gonna do some layering. Let's unplug Alexa, she gets upset. Temperamental. take a little longer to dry oh. but I think that's pretty good so let's try and put little mr. sloth on here we have to figure out what color to make him so remember we used the placement tape all right we put that little star so we're gonna take and line it up with the little star on here and that's how we know we're in the right place 
was one and they also have numbers on them so that one was number one this is number two when you're doing layering and then third will be his little face and then fourth will be his little claws so we have to figure out what color to make our sloth I don't know what do y'all think everybody's participating today y'all that's all right gonna have a party so I'm literally going to line that up. Oh, can you guys even see what I'm doing? I'm going to take this tape off or he's going to end up. Okay. I think he's going to be cute. So we have to have, I don't even know, are sloths like tropical creatures? Where do you even find a sloth? Because we need to make him tropical. I don't know what color to make him. I was thinking about like coral and green. We could make him like pink. Peony color, because I want. I think I want to do the snuggle and coral. We can make a blue. The forget me not. With the peony. Pink face that would be cute. Let's make him blue. Let's have a blue sloth. What do y'all think? I know they're normally darker colors, but. This is our sloth, and we can make them however we want. Hey guys, thanks for popping on. It's good to see you guys. Make sure you say hello. We're making a pillow. It's gonna be the snuggle is real. And we're putting a little sloth up in the corner. He's gonna be cute. All right, so we're going to use, we're gonna make him blue, I think. Ooh, that's pretty. The tide is pretty too. We could really make him pop. Decisions, decisions. Color families get me every time. We could make them yellow. Could make them coral. Teal. We're gonna stick with the forget me not. I like the tide though. He's cute. Tide end. I don't know, y'all. I can't decide. All right, let's just do it. We'll make them blue. Blue and pink. You could make this for a nursery or a kid's room. This would be cute. Okay, so we're going to use our paste. Can you guys make sure you can see what I'm doing here? So I have my sloth all lined up. He's ready to go. He's like, all right, I need some color. So we're going to color him in. We're just taking um, the squeegee. And using our ink, this is our chalk ink, it's non-toxic. He's gonna be handsome little feller. It could be a girl. Why does it have to be a guy? I guess because he's blue. Maybe I think that's why. But he's going to have a pink face. He's going to be adorable. It's so quiet, you guys. I really think we should have some music going. But then they'll get mad at me and say, you don't have the rights to this music. So I have to sit here in silence. <laughs> so we're just working on our little pillow. It's going to be so cute when we're done. Okay, there's our little sloth man. Making sure we got good coverage. There's a couple areas that I'm like, okay, 
me make sure I really press down and get in there so we get the details, especially around the edges. It's really easy to miss along the edge of your transfer and you want to have crisp lines. So cute. Okay, I think he's adorable. Ready? Let's pull him up. I cut my nails yesterday. Oh, he's cute. Look how adorable he's turning out. Our little sloth guy. So we're gonna do the other side. <laughs> I already have lines over here from where they're supposed to go. I'll try to cover them up later with something. Maybe with a leaf or something. So here, we didn't think this through. We're going to put, <laughs> put them on here, kind of opposite of each other. There. I'm pushing him down. I just want to make sure that he's good and sticky. Because see all the... The teal, that's the detail. So you want to make sure that that part is really sticking down good because your ink is going to go right through that. Okay. I think we're pretty good. Just want to wash my fingers off. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We're making a pillow today. We're doing the Snuggle is Real with our little sloth guy. He's gonna be so cute. Our little sloth pillow. All right. Hey, Kimberly. Hello, hello. It shows me sometimes when you guys pop on, but then other times it doesn't. It just says like number of viewers and then it varies from, the, so I have no idea how many people are on here. But I usually know I get like thousands of views, so it's weird because it feels like I'm all alone right now. So make sure you guys say hi when you pop on and share. If you click hashtag, um, what did we say? Hashtag snuggle for today will be the share word. So if you do hashtag snuggle, if I get 50 shares on this video, I'm going to do a drawing. Somebody can pick off my prize board, but I got to have 50 shares. So if you share... Every time you share, do hashtag snuggle. And you can share it on your personal timeline, any, like if you're in any crafting groups, um, anywhere that, don't get yourself in trouble. Don't put it in a group that it shouldn't be in. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to spread the word. And that helps because you guys know what happened with my business page, how it got shut down. Uh, and so I'm having to rebuild my viewers, which is, why my views are down right now because I had almost 5,000 people following me um, and I'm down to, well, I'm back up to like 600 now with this new page. But that's a lot of people to lose <laughs> from your business page. Okay, I'm just making sure we're getting the edges really good. I think he's cute. Cute, cute, cute. I'm rinsing my fingers. Debbie, oh my gosh. Hey girl, how are you? It's been so long. Miss you. <laughs> Holy cow, it's been a long time. I'm making my little sloth guy. He's so adorable. We're making a pillow. Let me clean up my excess right here. If you get a little bit and you get it quick, you can grab it off of there, but all right. He's turning out cute. So make sure, this is important. Make sure you guys are cleaning your fingers off really well before you touch touching your pillow with this ink <laughs> because you'll end up getting it everywhere. All right, so this is where we're at so far with our sloths on the corner. 
They're going to be hanging down and it's going to say this snuggle is real. Who doesn't want to snuggle with a sloth? Like it's on my bucket list. Like I totally want to snuggle with a sloth. All right, so I got to blow dry this so we can do his face and the leaves and stuff. So hang tight a minute, guys. We got to pull out our blow dryer. But so far, I think it's turning out super cute. So now we're going to do layer number three for our layer transfer. Can you guys see what I'm doing? All right. So next one is three. We're going to do the face. Three. Ed, if you're seeing this, <laughs> my friend Ed, he's an entertainer. And that's his thing when he entertains. He says three all the time. Okay. So I am going to put the face on and you just have to line it up, really. I mean, this is just... It's just a matter of I mean, it doesn't have to be super perfect sometimes it's hard just to get like the right angle Like the top part is perfect. It's this other center part right here that I'm Okay, I think that's pretty good. We're gonna go with that. So what I'm doing is I'm lining it up. See how you want to try to cover the blue? So if you look at the other ones, that's what I'm trying to cover up. I'm trying to keep it lined up so we can give them a cute little face. And we're going to make the face, I think we said this peony pink. I think that will be cute. All right, I'm taking a little mini squeegee. This is a smaller job here. Hopefully, can you guys see what I'm doing? There we go. Make sure you guys say hi when you pop on. I love to hear from you guys. Every This has been the quietest live I've done in I don't know how long. Like seriously. You guys are so quiet. Maybe it's the time of day. Maybe this isn't a good time of day. I was late getting started today though really. I was planning on going live much earlier. I'm not even supposed to be home right now. I had plans this afternoon. But I had to reschedule. Okay. Cute. Oh, that's adorable. All right, let me do this one. <laughs> he looks a little psychedelic. I'm just kind of lining it up. I'm going to clean my fingers off. 
our sloth. That's a little bright. That's a lot of brightness for his face. Like I thought it would be a little more subtle than that. <laughs> this is like an Alice in Wonderland um, type sloth. I wish I had an Alice in Wonderland transfer. That'd be awesome. Oh, God, that'd be awesome. If we got the rights to Disney transfers, I'd... Oh, my gosh. Y'all would be so sick of me. All right. I don't think they have the rights to do Disney transfers, though. I don't know. I mean, I know we don't have any, so... Okay. <laughs> This is some super bright pink right here. Like crazy pink. And that turned out cute. Alright, so there's the faces. Let me rinse my fingers. I'll show you where we're at. The second one, I think, turned out a little better than the first one. Okay. Making sure my finger. Oh no! See, there was some blue creeping up on there. All right, so here's where we're at so far with our slots. How cute! I'm kind of holding it sideways so you can see them, but this is gonna be a pillow when I'm done with it. And we're gonna have the snuggle is real in the middle. Okay, so let's put the lid on that. Now, next color we have to do, oh, we have to do his claws next. So these, again, we have to line up. So we have to figure out what color we're going to make his claws. Hmm. We could do them yellow. Something bright. Bumblebee? Is that too bright? Um, the tide. We could make them teal. I want... I want his claw. Oh, you know what? We can make them gold. They're like shimmer. Shimmer gold. Hmm. I don't know. Decisions. Because I'm going to use this kiwi to do the leaves so it'll be bright. Hmm. Like I said, I don't have as many ink colors as I do paste colors. I have a lot of paste. I don't have as much ink. All right. Well, let's see how. Oh, they must go this way. Hmm. Oh, do they? I'm trying to figure out how they go. Hold on. Cause now me, I'll put them. On, I'll put them on totally backwards. It's got to go that way. No, it has to fit on there. Hold on. Hold on, when in doubt, let's check the catalog and see how they have it in there. Because this is current. Another thing that helps is if you get a transfer um, and you're not going to use it for a while, you might want to make sure that you have a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Here we go. Oh, I see. So, okay. So see his little claws? I don't know how well you guys can see this. See his little claws kind of wrap around the tree. So that's what we have to do with them. But that's the actual transfer. That's so cute. Okay. So they're going to go around the tree. We're going to go right on the tree trunk. All right. Good thing I checked, huh? Because I was trying to make them fit. I'd have been there forever. All right. Oh, I see. So that goes there. Or does it go this way? All right, one more time. I gotta see if they're pointing up or down. I told you guys, I don't have a creative brain. If I can do this, okay. They're pointing down, so they line up Pointing down. All right, got it. I'm going to leave it open in case we got to look again. Hmm. 
soil doesn't seem Okay, I think I got it. I think we need to make his paws the same color as his face. Then they'll pop. So we're gonna pull this pink back out again. All right, can y'all see what I'm doing? I lined it up best as I could. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in, say hello. We're working on a pillow today. This is gonna be the Snuggle is Real, but I'm also using our little No Worries Sloth. Um, and I'm just using the sloth, because sloths are snuggly, right? Who doesn't want to snuggle with a sloth? Okay, let's pull this one up. Cute. All right. I think he's turning out adorable. I'll show you. Let me do the other side. You got to be kind of quick when you're working with these if you're reusing them because you don't want anything to dry. Once it dries, um, it'll clog your screen. And you definitely want to be able to see the detail, okay? So that's why I'm moving kind of fast with this. This is a little more detail-oriented. Originally, I was just going to do the Snuggle is Real and call it a day, but then scope creep happened. When your projects get bigger than you anticipated, which tends to happen a lot with this when you start letting your imagination go wild. And I was like, oh, I could pull out the build -a bunnies And I'm like, just stop, turn the camera on, and get moving. There we go. Adorable. All right, here's our little sloth coming together very nicely. Let me put the lid back on this because I don't like stuff to dry out. And I'll show you guys where we're at. Okay. Here's our little snuggly sloth. We're gonna put the leaves on there and then we're gonna put the snuggle as Israel across it, which I think is gonna turn out really cute. So, where do we put the leaves? <laughs> Another good question. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of put them, oh, I see. Like this, no. There has to be a way. We'll figure it out. Let's blow dry and we'll start playing with it. <laughs> All right, ready? You have to dry in between your layers or you'll have this stuff everywhere. So I have to talk her to the blow dryer. This is gonna be cute. My house is very tropical. So I think I'm going to have him upstairs on my sofa. <laughs> I'm losing stuff. All right, hold on. I'm definitely going to have to cover up that one mark. going to do our leaves. So here is our little model guy. This is what we're modeling after. See how they have the leaves on there? So we have our little leaf over here. We have a couple leaves actually. 
I'm assuming that these bigger ones go on the end ones down here. And so, let me show you, move this over so you can see. I think these bigger ones go down here. And these are gonna go kind of like this, I'm thinking. Yeah. All right, let's get some, we're gonna do these like in Kiwi. I think that'll be pretty. But we're not gonna have enough space for the leaves. Not all of them anyway. They're gonna run off the pillow, I think. We're gonna do our best with it. Because I'm trying to put it on the end. So we're gonna get some running of the leaves, I think. But we'll see how it looks going to be on the edge so we kind of want it that way all right let's do this in kiwi It's harder to do on the edge, I will tell you that. I don't know if this is gonna be as crisp as I want it to be. Probably wasn't meant to do edging on a pillow. But hey, you live and you learn, right? That's part of the fun of this. So the thing is, when you do ink projects, they're not very forgiving, because you can't really wash them off and start over. You're stuck with it. So you want to make sure that you're ready if you're going to do something pretty complicated. But I don't really feel this is complicated. It's just I've never worked with this type of pillow before. But you live and you learn, right? All right, so I'm just trying to get as much leaf on there as I can. And we'll see how that looks. Oh, it turned out cute. All right, let me do the other side real quick and then I'll show you guys. This is like our Alice in Wonderland sloth. Tapping it down, rinsing my fingers. And technically you can wash these in between and let them dry and all of that if you want. Like if I was, this is for personal, if I was like really making this, I know some of you guys are like hardcore crafters. If I was like making this and gonna sell this piece, I would definitely take the time to um, clean the transfers between each one to make sure everything is just perfect. But I'm more of a hobbyist with my designs. Like I just like to make stuff. Some stuff I do sell and I do do custom things too. I've made some custom things for people. It turned out really nice. So if you want one of these, I can make you one. Or you can order the stuff and make it. To make great Christmas gift ideas. Like making pillows. Cute. All right, ready? I'm loving the leaves. They're coming out pretty darn cute, I will say. All right, you wanna see where we're at with our leaves? We still have a couple more leaves to put on. See, I think they're coming out really cute. All right, we still gotta put these other ones on. And 
I just <laughs> stuck my finger right in it. That was lovely. Okay, that one. And then we will do this one. Okay, so I have them lined up. This is our kiwi color, which I love for summer. Everybody's ready for fall already, and I'm just like, I'm so not ready for fall right now. I'm still enjoying my summer. I'm moving these over. I think I got them backwards. I think. I don't think it matters really. I think we could go either way with them. Okay. Let's put some green on. Okay. Pull those up. I wonder if we could do like another leaf on this side to cover up <laughs> these black things that I got going on here. I wonder if I could just pop one right there. Maybe cover that up. Let's see how that looks. Because I messed up. <laughs> I mean, there's no right or wrong, right? You can have whatever you want on your leaf pillow. We're just putting an extra leaf on there. I don't see where it's gonna hurt. All right, hold on. I gotta get it back up. Oh, that's cute. See, it covered it up. So you can fix mistakes. <laughs> Here, let's do this one too. While we're at it, we're gonna add just one extra leaf. How's that? Then it's gonna cover up where I made those marks that I didn't mean to make earlier. cute <laughs> look at that and nobody will ever notice except for us because you guys hung out with me all right let me clean my fingers off i like our little guy i think he's they're adorable i think that peony pink is a little bright for that face but overall i think it's cute now we have to put the lettering on all right let me rinse my fingers off really good because stuff can get all over. All right, you want to see our little sloth guys? There's sloth one and sloth two. And aren't they like loner creatures? From what I understand, they're like pretty lonely. I mean, I guess at some point they can't be lonely if they're going to have babies, right? <laughs> so we're going to use the Snuggle is Real 
and put some words on here and kind of make it fun. Um, the other thing that this came with was we could. We could do no worries and then the snuggle is real, but ooh, is that the same font? No, it's a different font. It might look funny. I don't know. Let's pull this out and see and we'll play. Maybe, maybe we'll do it. All right, let's open our transfer. This is a big one. This is a C-size transfer. If you're wondering, um, that's really important when you guys are looking at transfers, that you're checking the sizes because there's the A, the B, the C, the D, the E are ginormous. Um, but some of them are misleading because you look in the catalog or if you look online, you can't exactly tell how big it is. So um, that's why it's important that you look at the size, what size transfer. So this is a C size transfer. So if you were using like an itty bitty frame, this isn't going to work. So you kind of need to know uh, what size your transfer is. So I'm just going to cut this apart. This is going to go in the center, see, just like this, so we have to figure out um, what color, I kind of like the coral, decisions. What if the coral is going to be too much with that pink? Is it going to clash? Not sure. What do you guys think? You guys kind of talk. Everybody's being so quiet today. Y'all are quiet. Make sure you say hi when you pop on. Normally you guys are like telling me what colors to use and everybody's being so quiet today. That's okay, it's just quiet kind of day. It's quiet here. My son had all of his friends here yesterday. There's like the four of them and they're like always together. They're all like 18 and 19. <laughs> And they're loud and these walls down here are like super thin so like I can hear everything going on all the time all right so we're gonna put this in the middle Pretty even, it might not be. Hold on. Might need to come down just a tad. a little better. So colors, it's going to go right in the middle. Hmm. I'm nervous about using the coral, but I'm not, I think that peony is too pink. We could always just do it in white. I don't know. No, we could do it in yellow. I kind of think I don't want to do too many colors though, because then it's going to be like, let's just do it in this peony. I think that's going to be best. If we get too many colors going, it's going to give somebody a headache. <laughs> okay. We're going to switch to a bigger squeegee for this. 
we're gonna break out the big boys because this is a big one. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use this one just to kind of spread it faster. Remember, you use a good amount of ink because it's porous, so it's gonna absorb. All right, ready? This is for those, those big jobs. Because <laughs> you want to be kind of fast with it. And this also helps eliminate lines. See how fast and easy that goes? This makes it super quick. If you were just doing like one, one thing, all one color, and boom, done. Just making sure that we got it really good. This is some bright, bright pink, y'all. The snuggle is real. I think that's good. I think it looks pretty good. See, I have some excess on here. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to put it right back in. I'm not wasting a drop of this stuff. It's because I always want to create stuff. <laughs> okay. okay. So let's pull this up. <laughs> I think it's adorable. I don't know what y'all think. All right, hold on. I'm putting some of this stuff over here in the water bath just because I don't want my stuff to dry out. How cute is this? I'm going to do the back too. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Those of you still sticking around. This is going to be so adorable. <laughs> the snuggle is real. How adorable is that? Oh my God, I love it. All right, let me flip it and then we'll do... On the back, we can do hug me, hug me, hug me. I think that would be cute with the pink on the back. All right, let me dry this some so we can flip it over. I want to do the back side of it so I can heat press it. Now it showed me you're watching. Beverly's the craft master, y'all. She's amazing. She's got her own craft business. I just need this to dry. <laughs> like. Because I want to flip it over and do the back side. It did. I'm like, I didn't know what it was going to come out like. I toyed with it. I thought about doing the little porcupine. <laughs> that would have been really cute. <laughs> the, the transfer of the month, the looking sharp. <laughs> But I've always wanted to cuddle with a sloth. I love sloths. I think they're so cute. These take a while to dry. I mean, it's not like overnight. Like, it's not fast. But 
Those of you guys just pop it on, I'll show you in just a second. I'm blood drying. Because I want to do the flip side of this while I have all this out. I got to do the other side of my skull pillow from yesterday. Put the wording on the back. It will take forever with the hair dryer to dry. Let it dry overnight. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get it just so it's not so sticky. Um, and then flip it over. But yeah, that's what I did with this one. I let it dry overnight. Who else is here? Hey, Pearson, thanks for tuning in. This is my one I did yesterday. So I let this dry overnight. I have not done the back side yet, um, but I fixed it this morning because I had all, if you guys watched yesterday, I had all of this side gold. It just didn't look right. So I pulled the transfer back out and then I filled it in with the black. And you can see a little bit of the gold coming through, but not really much. I think it looks a whole lot better. So I was able to fix it. That has nothing to do with the transfer problem. That has a designer problem because I don't do very well with the colors, um, picking out colors. And that's why I struggle. Like my brain doesn't like work like that. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to flip it and do the back. I just don't want it to ruin it. So in the middle here, I'm just going to do, I don't know, I might just, I don't know, what do you think? Just hug me, hug me, hug me. We're going to need to uh, clean this off. We're going to have to use this one again. All right. <laughs> We're using our, I think it's going to be adorable though. I just don't want to, yeah, I think that's okay. Just makes me <laughs> nervous. I don't want to smudge it. All right, so this is our hug me, hug me, hug me, hug me. And again, I already have, I already have our um, ink mat in the center here. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. The trick to this is going to be lining this bad boy up again. So I'm going to have to find a way. There's got to be a trick to this. See, that's where I struggle is lining this stuff up. That way I know where to move with it. Okay, ready? You know what? Let's move this up and start at the top. I guess it doesn't matter really, does it? Never mind. I was like, oh, I could just flip it around. Sorry. <laughs> Having a Bridget moment. All right, ready? Let's get our chalk ink back out. And we'll just use another one. I love these sticks. You've got to have these sticks. They're amazing. Hug me, hug me. Ready? some more. Make sure you guys say hi when y'all pop on. It's been so quiet today. I've just been down here working. I didn't plan on 
getting that involved with this pillow, but it happens sometimes. Like you get started on it and then you're just like. Now this is one of our larger squeegees for bigger jobs. Just makes it a whole lot faster. But sometimes you have to go back over with something a little bit smaller just to make sure that you're getting everywhere so you don't have any white spots. There's a little spot over here that I just cannot seem to get with this one. So I'm doing it manually with a little one. Okay, cute. Ready? I'm just gonna set this here for a second. And we're gonna pull it up. All right, all right. Adorable. That is so cute, y'all. So I am going to probably need to do this next one up here. This is gonna be cute, y'all. I'm excited. All right, ready? Let's keep going. I think that's pretty. Oh, you know what? It needs to come down a smidge. It's just a little bit too far over. gonna be a little bit better lined up but by the time we put the stuffing and stuff in the pillow I don't think it's gonna matter but so much because you're gonna have curves and stuff okay so when you're reusing it it's a little bit harder to see um, that you got all your ink. So you want to be really careful making sure that you're getting good coverage. And what you can do is wash them in between and then you'll know <laughs> exactly where you missed. <laughs> so. It's harder to do on the ends. I'm going to switch over to the smaller one for the ends down here.
make sure that I got I'm just making sure that I got everything real good going over it again we don't want to have any missed areas it's harder to see the second time when you use a transfer like this on the same project without washing it. Once you wash them, you're good. But I just went from one to the next. So of course the pink's already on there, so it's a little harder to tell. And once you peel it up, it's, it's hard to line back up again to go back and fix it. So I'm just proofing myself right now, hoping that I got everything. That's pretty good. I'm scraping the excess. The biggest thing is like up on these corners where it's not quite even or quite flush. It's a little more difficult. Okay. Ready? Let's pull up our snuggle. And we're going to move this stuff because we're going to have to um, use this transfer off the edge. So we got to make some room. Let's pull it up. This is going to be cute, y'all. Hug me, hug me, hug me, hug me, hug me. Oh, look how cute it's turning out. So now we just have to do the edges over here. Now, lining it back up is a whole different ball game. So we have to try to get it sh somewhat straight. And this is the beauty. It's not gonna be perfect, especially for me, because some of you are more patient than me and are really good at stuff like this. So you guys will probably have perfect projects where I am more of a get her, get, get her done kind of girl. All right. Well, I'm missing my other pink one. All right, we're going to just use let's use our scraper again. Make sure y'all say hi. A lot of y'all are popping in and out, in and out. <laughs> and I can't see when I'm doing this who's here. So make sure you guys say hello. And the share, if you guys are sharing this video today, the share is hashtag snuggle. That way I know you shared it. If I get to 50 shares, I'm going to do a drawing. So share it away. You can share it on your personal timeline. Um, if you're in any craft groups that you think might be interested but you're like, what does share mean? So if you look down on your screen, I think it's on the left, right hand side, it'll say share. And what it does is it shares the video so more people see it. And it helps me, because I like helping you guys. So it's like a, a community effort. I can use all the help I can get when I make these projects. <laughs> all right, so. Here is our hug me, hug me. And that's going to go right off the end, which is fine. And last one. I'll try to line it up as best I can. Wait, if you guys are just getting here, wait till you see what I did on the front of this bad boy. <laughs> it's so cute. I'll, but you gotta wait. You gotta wait for me to finish this and I'll show you. This is my pillow masterpiece. Which I'm loving it. 
it's going to go in my living room when I get it finished. Okay, we're almost done. So stick around. Make sure you guys stick around. You want to see the front. If you're getting here late, you where y'all been? You guys just like, everybody's late tuning in today. Actually, I was late broadcasting. I'm either earlier in the morning or I'm later in the evening. I usually don't do like dead center in the middle of the afternoon. But I kind of had to today because I had stuff that I need to go to town to do. Because you guys know I live in the country. <laughs> like so It's not like I can just run out. Like if I go to town, it's a long day thing. So there's a couple areas I can look I just smeared it of course I did it was going too easy y'all too easy I already smeared it <sighs> leave it to me I'll try to get it off of there no guarantee and somebody if you guys want to know what to get me for Christmas bleach pens <laughs> tied bleach pens for my friends and family that are watching. I either got chalk stains or wine stains on everything I own. <laughs> now this stuff does wash off. I just want y'all to know that. Uh, but it's ink. And so um, I'm going to heat set this. <laughs> so the ink is not supposed to wash off. But the paste does. If we were working with paste, that is not a problem right there. I'd have that gone in two seconds. Okay. Almost done. Let's clean this off. We're going to save our ink. And try, try, I don't know how well we're going to do, try to get that ink stain off of there. I need to get another wipe. Hold it. It's behind you guys. I wish y'all could hand me one. I need an assistant. Okay, so let's pull up our Hug Me, Hug Me. Mm. That turned out adorable. All right, hold on, let me put this in the water. Mm. Okay, and let me try to fix this one spot. I don't even know if I can, but I'm going to try. If I scrub, 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 maybe, just maybe, I can get some of it off. I mean, it's not that noticeable, but to me it is. Oh, God, that turned out cute. Okay, this is the hug me, hug me part. And if you guys... Okay, so you guys were late. Did you see the front? This is our pillow. It says the snuggle is real. I know you guys can't read it because it's backwards. But this says the snuggle is real and we have our little sloths. And then on the back it says hug me, hug me, hug me, hug me. How cute is that? So we just have to let this dry. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to heat set it. Very important, guys, when you heat set. In the middle here is our ink mat. All right, this is what's protecting it from going through. Take the ink mat out before you heat set it. Do not heat set with the ink mat. So we're gonna take the heat mat out and then I got some pillow stuffing over here. Um, I got this uh, Hobby Lobby pillow stuffing that I'm gonna stuff the pillow with when I'm all done. And so once I get it all stuffed, I'm gonna let you guys see it, but I'm like super excited. I think it turned out really cute. I just have to let it dry. But I'm loving it. The hug me, hug me. And then if you were here with me yesterday, we made this pillow. And I haven't done the back side yet. I'm going to finish it. Um, but I was letting it dry. I didn't blow dry. And I had stuff to do last night. So um, this is more of a Halloween style pillow. That's our French. Well, it's like Victorian inspired, I think. But this I used a combination of two different stencils. Um, this one is our No Worries. And we... <laughs> We could, could, if we wanted to, put no worries up here. Oh, you know what? I think we need to put no worries. I think we do. Like, it's going to, can I blow dry this and we'll put no worries? I think that'll be cute. No worries. The snuggle is real. 
Yeah, we have to. All right, sorry. I thought we were done. We're not done. I gotta blow dry this so I can get it ready. I mean, it's probably fine. I just don't, I wanna make sure it's dry enough because I'm gonna put pressure on the other side again. I should have done that before I did this, but hold on. Good enough. We just don't want it. Oh, it's still it's still pretty tacky. Let me blow dry it a little bit more. So we're just gonna do, we're, I have to do it now because it's gonna bug me. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna do the no worries. Cause I, I say that all the time. I'm like, no worries, no worries. I kinda like the no worries, no hurries, the snuggle is real. Cause like, who wants to be in a hurry when they snuggle? I don't. No hurries, no worries. The snuggle is real. I don't know. I think we're just gonna do no worries. Like, hey, don't worry about it. It's real snuggle, right? The snuggle is real. <laughs> I like it. Do y'all like it? All right. <clears throat> Almost done. Promise. I'm just going to go over it pretty quickly. Hey, 
Julie, how are you? I haven't talked to you in so long. I love that people pop on and I haven't seen you guys in forever. Julie was one of my Clever sisters when I was at Clever. It's been a very quiet afternoon. Normally I'm not live at this time. I'm not even usually home. But I have stuff to do this evening. So I was like, I better do it. Because I promised you guys we would do ink this week. This will be my I'm not. I know I'm not going to be live tomorrow. And probably not Saturday. But possibly Sunday night. Depending on what time I get home. I have a trip. It's a business trip actually. Okay, we had to do the no worries. <laughs> that is so freaking adorable. Like this stuff is just too cute. Like I don't even know where to start. Okay, look at that. This is our complete pillow. So we got no worries. The snuggle is real with our little sloth guys. And then on the back side, we got hug me, hug me, hug me. <laughs> like, so cute. So now all we have to do is clean up this mess. Anybody wanna come help? <laughs> I got a mess to clean up. Um, so I just gotta clean up this mess, let this dry. I'm gonna let it dry overnight once it's completely dry. Not tacky, it has to be totally dry. I'm going to take out the ink mat that's in the center, like I said, and I'm going to heat press it. All right, so if you don't have a heat press, just take an iron. You can use, um, make sure you use parchment paper over it, and you're going to iron four minutes on each side. Flip it inside out, do the other side. That's all you're going to do, and you're going to heat press it, and it's going to be um, permanent, right? So you can wash your pillows, whatever it is that you need to do to your pillows, but this is how you make pillows with our chalk couture stuff so thanks for tuning in i know this was kind of a long live and it was really quiet so i'm assuming a bunch of y'all are going to be watching the replay tonight um so if you guys have questions please don't hesitate to reach out to me um if i'm still doing the 50 shares so if you share this video um the to let me know you share it is going to be hashtag snuggle okay so hashtag snuggle, that way I know that you shared it. Once we get 50, I'm going to do a drawing for a prize. So thanks for tuning in. If you want more info on the business, shoot me a message. I got an income opportunity group, which is amazing. I've got all kinds of information about this company and how you can get started with your own chalk couture business and do these awesome projects and hang out with fun people. <laughs> so, all right, you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.